Hello everyone, welcome to Come Sit at My Table. We are Tom and Melissa, and we're really happy that you're coming to sit at our table for our video today. We are making a transparent pie. Now, if you've never heard of a transparent pie, I'm not surprised by that. Transparent pie is kind of a local favorite in our area in Kentucky because the transparent pie was developed many years ago. It's an old historic pie recipe from Maysville, Kentucky, which is a city north of where we live. Now, transparent pie is very similar to some other pies around the country. And often you'll hear somebody who tries transparent pie for the first time say, oh, this reminds me of a buttermilk pie that I had when I was down south. Or this reminds me of a chess pie that I had when I was in New England. Or even sometimes you'll hear someone say, this reminds me of a sugar pie that I ate in Indiana. And they are all very similar because they were all developed many, many, many years ago. They're all historic pies. And they were developed on farms where people had limited access to ingredients. But everyone on the farms back then had access to butter, sugar, milk, and eggs. And basically, those are the four ingredients. Now you're gonna need just a little bit of flour and some vanilla, but that's it. It's a very simple pie recipe and it's delicious. People have often asked where it gets the name transparent pie. And I've tried to research that. And what I have found is that no one really knows where that name came from. The filling after it's baked is very clear. There's not much color to it. It's not really transparent, but it's probably as close to being transparent as you'll get in a pie. So they think that might be where the name came from, but they're not really sure. This pie is not only delicious, but it's a favorite of our son-in-law. And very, very early on in him dating our youngest daughter, he let us know that transparent pie was his favorite pie. So of course, I went on the hunt for the recipe. And it's easy to find and it's easy to make. So I'm always happy to make Luke a transparent pie. Here's what you need to make a transparent pie. You need one stick of butter melted. You need two cups of granulated sugar. You need one cup of heavy whipping cream. Make sure it says heavy whipping cream. You don't want regular milk or evaporated milk or anything like that. It must be heavy cream. You're also going to need four eggs beaten. You're going to need two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then of course you need a pie shell. You need to have something to bake it in. Now, even though those ingredients are very basic and looking at it, it doesn't look like it would be much for a pie, it will fill a deep dish pie shell. So if you don't have a deep dish pie shell, if you're just using a regular like nine inch shallow pie shell, you'll need to make two with this, this recipe. But I have this deep dish pie shell and um, so it will make one. Now it will puff as it bakes. So you will notice how I have fixed my, uh, the edge of my pie crust. I've kind of fluted it up so that if it raises a little bit extra, that will catch it. And then of course I will put my pie ring on the shell, my pie shell ring to keep my the edge of my pie from browning too much during the baking time. So we'll put that on. Oh, by the way, someone asked on one of our videos where I got this pie shield. I have no clue. I have had it for, I don't know how long. Um, they come in lots of different sizes. This is the largest one I have and I don't think they come larger than this. This one's 11 and a half inches in diameter from side to side, and it works really well with something like this large pie plate. 
but they come in many different sizes. I've not looked, but I would imagine you can find those on Amazon. Okay, we're going to get started. We need to get our sugar and our butter in our mixer and get those started because they need to cream for one to two minutes before we add anything else. I probably should have started those right after I told you what we were putting in, but I forgot to start it. So we'll let it cream for a minute or two while we get ready to put everything else in. What you're doing is just letting that butter and that sugar mix together so that those sugar crystals begin to dissolve. You don't want gritty pie filling. Um, you want that sugar to kind of emulsify, dissolve in that butter. So that's why you want to let it cream for a little bit while you're getting your other ingredients together. If I were doing this without making a video, I would have started creaming my sugar and butter together before I even start getting my other ingredients out. That way they would have had plenty of time. But we'll just let that run for a minute and then we'll add our other ingredients. Okay. Let's go over and start moving everything else over here while that's creamy. And everything else just really gets dumped in. Um, there's no no specific order after you get your butter and sugar cream together. Everything else just goes in. Actually, I'm wrong. We need to let this, I'm gonna go ahead and start our heavy whipping cream because we need to let it beat for about one minute to start to thicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. Let it get started here. You will notice that as it beats, that will start to thicken up. In fact, it already has. Can you see how that's starting to thicken? Yes. Already. And that's because as you whip heavy whipping cream, it turns into what we would think of as Cool Whip or, you know, a whipped whipping cream. So the same thing's happening in here now, it's just that it's got the butter and sugar in with it. But that heavy whipping cream is going to thicken up as we beat it. Okay, let's start to add our other ingredients. I'm just going to pour in our eggs and let that kind of mix in. Turn this down and put in our flour. I locked it for you. Huh? I was going to tell you I locked it for oh, you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'll sprinkle in the flour. Get that in. And pray it doesn't go all over the kitchen. There we go. And put in our one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, I might be a little generous and give it just a dab more because I like the vanilla flavor. But a real transparent pie has one teaspoon of vanilla. And that's it. That's the whole thing right there. We'll let it, we'll let it mix in there for just a few seconds. And now we're ready. We can scrape our beater because we don't want to waste any of this. I know. I've got to use my fingers. It just does a much better job than that spatula. Finger always scrapes better. Okay. Off there we go. And now into the pie shell.
when you see this go in, you'll think, oh my goodness, that pie shell is way too big for that pie. But I promise you, it will puff up as it's baking. See how this pie has really very little color. The only color it has is really from the eggs and the butter. So it's kind of a yellowish color. So I can see where somebody would have called it a transparent pie. It has very little color to it. It does almost look transparent. All right, there we go. Now, I'm gonna put our pie shell ring on it. We have preheated our oven to 375 degrees and we will bake this for 40, 45 minutes and check it. It will be done even if it's just a little jiggly in the middle because when you take it out, it will continue to bake and it will set up as it cools and kind of shrinks back down. So don't, don't over bake it. If you over bake it, it's going to be dry and a little bit tougher. So probably 45 minutes or so, but we'll watch it. And when it's finished, when it's done and we're ready to take it out, we'll come back and let you see what it looks like. We'll be right back. Our timer just went off, so let's take our pie from the oven. It is still just a little jiggly, but it will continue to bake once we remove it and it will firm up. Now, if you'll remember, it looked like our pie shell was way too big for this pie. But as you can see, it has puffed up and filled the shell. Very pretty. It's a beautiful pie. Yes, nice job, babe. Thanks. All right, we have to let it cool completely before we can cut it. So it's going to be a while. But when it's cooled and it's ready to cut, we'll come back and show you a piece and we'll sample it. We'll be right back. Our pie is pretty much cooled. It's just got a little warm spot right in the center on the bottom. So I think it's ready to cut. Before we do, I have a couple of things I wanna talk about. I think I forgot to mention that I used a Pillsbury refrigerated pie crust for this. It's the one in the red box that you find in the refrigeration section at your store. I think those crusts are fantastic. I have no problem using them. We think they taste great. I do occasionally make homemade crust, but these are just really easy, especially when you're in a hurry to get a pie finished. The second thing is, you'll notice, this is not a perfect pie crust. You can see it shrank just a little bit right here around this edge, and I've even got a hole right here in the crust. I don't mind that at all, and you know why? Because it's homemade. Because it's homemade. This did not come out of a factory, off of a conveyor belt. This is homemade, and it looks homemade. So I don't have a problem with a crust that looks like this. In fact, I think it looks better than one that came off of a conveyor belt in a factory. Okay, let's cut a piece. I need a pie server. Okay, where am I gonna cut? Let's cut right here. Let's just take this piece that shrank. I think we should take this to Luke and Caroline tomorrow. Okay. Minus one piece. Well, minus this one piece, yes. <laughs> Let's make sure we get a big enough piece that I can get it out of here. Luke can have the rest of it. Do they know we're coming? No. That's okay. I was not going to pop in on it. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be nice. So you are going to warn them? I, absolutely, yes. Okay. Well, I, I always we... love to go see our daughter and our new son-in-law. But I really go to see our grand dog. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that, should I? But it's the truth. <laughs> mm. All right. I want you to look at this pot. Can you see how it 
kind of got the name Transparent Pie. It is a little transparent. I don't know if that's where the name came from or not, but I think it's very possible. You taking the first bite, babe? Sure. Oh, I should have given you a little princess bite that's big. Yeah, I'll have them. Sorry. <laughs> I forget. That was good, too. That's really good. Oh, my goodness. That's delicious. And that's exactly why we should take it to Luke. <laughs> yeah, because you know to, I'll eat the whole we thing. We don't need to be eating all that. I will eat that entire pie. <laughs> Melissa has a lot more willpower than I do. I just, I love sweets. Okay, thank you so much for watching our video. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. It's just been amazing how many people have subscribed and the wonderful comments just make our day. Melissa spends literally hours every day reading your comments and trying to reply to all of them. I'm sure she might miss one or two here and there, but she literally sits at her desk and tries to answer or respond to every comment. So we really do appreciate those nice comments that you put on there. I would like to ask you to do us a favor. If you've not had transparent pie, that's okay. But let us know what your favorite pie is. Just go down to the comments and type chocolate pie or lemon pie or whatever. Whatever your favorite pie is, just let us know what you like. Maybe it'll give us an idea of what we should put on for a, a video later. Also, you could help us if you'd click the thumbs up. That just says you liked our video. And if you've not already, we sure would appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button and then the little notification bell next to it and click the word all, and that will just notify you every time we put a new video on. And of course, we would appreciate if you'd hit that share button and post our video to your own um, social media page so that your friends and family can see it too. As always, we appreciate you watching our videos and we want you to remember that you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a great day.